hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a june tbr and yeah i'm excited i know i've been making a lot of tbrs and i have not really been um kind of keeping up with them but overall i've been trying to get at least get like one book done in the tbr and it gives me a nice motive like a more organized list of what i kind of want to get done that month so i wanted to kind of do like a little rough one for june obviously i'm not going to do a lot um if you are new to this channel welcome and if you're not you probably already know that i don't make huge tbrs because i don't get to read a lot i don't have a lot of time to read and i don't get a lot of reading done through especially because i'm working and yeah but i wanted to still do like a tbr of books i wanted to try to get done this month and i wanted to keep it more realistic so i kept it up to at least four to five and i wanted to keep my tbr a little bit more realistic on like what i actually want to get done that month because i'm i'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself this is also the first month that i'm going to be going into like my new schedule so i'm going to be transitioning to new schedule and when i do any transition in my routine it takes me a minute to kind of adjust and I, sometimes I'm just really really tired. I get tired so easily. Um, so I didn't want to make it too intense but I just wanted to kind of keep it more realistic and just talk about the books that I wanted to get done this month. Like a lot of my videos I'm probably not going to be going that in depth about the synopsis just because they do take so much more time to go over them but I'll kind of explain like why I wanted to read them and the vibe I was kind of hoping to get from them. So without further ado, let's get started into this video and I can't wait to share my books. Okay, so the first book I wanted to get is Strange as a Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and I have been wanting to read this for a long time because a lot of people like this book and I feel kind of a little embarrassed to say that I haven't read it because I feel like so many people have talked about it but I've heard that it's just one of those like really dreamlike stories and it's a really dreamlike book and her writing style is so poetic and beautiful and so I really am excited to pick it up. One thing I love about reading is writing styles of an author and so if I really like her book I would really or if I really like this book I would love to pick up her other ones so I'm really excited to see what I think about it and I think it's like more of like a dream like type of plot where um this kid he is actually a librarian and he becomes lost into this like dreamlike world and yeah that's all I, I can really go <laughs> i'm not gonna read the whole thing but when i first read the synopsis it sounded really really interesting and i feel like i would be so excited to see what it's about especially if it's something more dreamlike for some reason when i hear this and i think about it i don't know if you guys play animal crossing but do you know how when you can go visit other islands you're in like that little dream bed thing where there's like a person that could transport you to the other dreams that's what i think about <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm excited to pick it up and I'm excited to see what I think about this. I've heard about Katie's reading talk about this book and seeing how much she loved it and was excited about it makes me really, really excited to pick it up. So I can't wait to see and finally have it done on my TBR. The next one is actually someone I've already, a book I've already talked about on my TBR and I think it's time and I'm ready to finally get it done. But it's Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber and I'm not going to really go that in depth, but I just heard it's like a story like fairy tale type of or fairy tale type of story and i've heard that i'm gonna really like this one i have a feeling i will because i love the caravan series and i love like fairy tale type of romance fantasy books so i have a really strong feeling and also the characters just seem like really cool and well developed like the way that they're explained they sound really cool so i'm excited to pick this up and i'm excited to finally get my hands on it and see what I think about it but I have a good feeling I'm gonna like this book and if not I'm gonna be really disappointed this is actually a book that if I don't like I'm gonna be really really sad the last two are kind of Harry Potter based so I've been kind of like wanting to uh, one thing I don't know if you guys know this about me but I am a huge Harry Potter fan I am obsessed with Harry Potter and I just been like in this like random little Harry Potter kick again where I kind of thought about rereading the series again but also I want to just absolutely just enjoy my time reading the series i don't want to just feel like i'm doing it just because like for a video or something which i wouldn't mind doing a video for it it would be so fun but also i feel like this heck this month is gonna be a little hectic so i don't know if i want to just read that and then put it on the side like i feel like it just deserves to just sit on the shelf but i've been wanting to read something like harry potter like and so the two i decided to pick up were two kind of different ones but they're kind of like harry potter essence and so that's the reason why i picked them up and this one i wanted to read is the raven boys by maggie steve fader 
stuff feeder. I hope I'm not saying her name wrong, but I heard that this is literally like the Mortar Boys and I heard that the story just reminds them so much of Harry Potter and I'm really excited. I've heard that a lot of people really like this series and I think I've been holding off on it for a long time because I just was afraid that if I don't read them consecutively, I'm not going to like them. But I'm hoping that they're easy reads. I think they're more young adult, so I'm hoping that I can kind of fly through these and I end up really adoring them. And this has been sitting on my shelf for quite a while, so I feel like it's time for me to start this series and to also finish it. And if I can get like another Harry Potter vibe, I, I, I'm i totally okay with that. So I'm excited to pick it up and see what I really think of it and what everybody's talking about because they say it reminds them so much of Lily and James. So that's what I'm like super excited to pick like super why i'm super excited to pick it up the very last book is actually tom felton's beyond the wand i've had this book for quite a while and it's actually his little autobiography is that what it's called an autobiography yeah because a bibliography is when they pass away right i'm not for sure <laughs> i'm not for sure it's his like about his life and about his life also on set and you kind of get like a little bit like behind the scenes of just the wizarding world creation and about his personal life i did actually i do have this on audiobook which i kind of want to like interchange so sometimes when i don't have a lot of time to read audiobooks are like my go-to so like cleaning um catching up on things around the house audiobooks are just so good for me so good for me <laughs> Audiobooks are just so easy for me to indulge in because I can just play them while I'm doing everything else and I think yeah his audiobook is actually him speaking which I love I love when authors make books and then it's their voice talking I just think that's so good like if I made a book I'd want to do my audiobook as well but it's his voice talking in his audiobook and I have that actually on Audible. It's a credit that I actually purchased, so it's mine. And I'm debating about kind of switching, interchanging it. So sometimes if I don't want to read like a novel, a little, kind of like a little audio audi autobiography. Let me look this up, it's gonna bother me. An autobiography, yeah, so I was right. So I kind of feel like it'd be kind of nice to switch off from like a novel um to an autobiography just because it's kind of like changes it up a little bit it kind of changes like the pacing or the amount of brain energy i can use and so i'm really interested to see more about this and i want to see more of like behind the scenes of the like when they filmed on set and yeah so i i'm wanting to read this and i also really want to read the raven boys if i'm feeling like a little bit harry potterish i really want to go to universal studios so bad i think i'm getting like reminiscent because the past few summers we would go to universal a lot because we actually ended up getting like annual passes so we went to Hog solely so we can go see hogwarts and i just i feel like now that it's summer again it's giving me like that oh i want to go to hogwarts again and i think that's why i'm like in this like little harry potter kick and then also harry potter is back on hbo max so i'm just like in this like little and i started playing hogwarts legacy again so i think that's why i'm in this like giant harry potter kick and i just really really want to read something harry potter-ish but i don't know if i'm ready to just read the series again right now i mean i wouldn't mind picking up like one book but i think right now i kind of want to try to get some new books done that's the hard thing about rereading like i love rereading books but i like getting new books done too but anyways i'm not gonna ramble on um yeah that is it for this reading or that is it for this tbr i hope you guys find these books interesting i'm sorry this video was like really chaotic and messy it's like starting to rear to towards like the end of the day after work and after filming two videos and i'm starting to get so sleepy so i'm like running out of voice running out of voice i'm running out of words and i can't talk properly but overall i'm just so excited to get to these books and i really do hope i get these done I, but overall i hope you guys are having a really great reading month and i can't wait to share my thoughts with you on these books and to see if i actually get them done <laughs> but i am really grateful and happy you guys came to watch this video if you haven't i hope you watch the other videos and come back again and if you are back again thank you so much for coming back and i will see you guys on the next video bye your hair looks longer than last june there's so much i've been down to know about you but we've been distant is it too soon to call pretend